Tesla is eyeing diamonds. No, not the one which you wear as jewelry. It's NDB, nuclear diamond battery. This automotive and energy firm creates, develops, produces, markets and rents energy generation and storage technologies. And now the all-new NDB nuclear diamond battery is all set for the business. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll take you through Tesla's NDB nuclear diamond battery, which finally hit the market. But before we begin, if you're new to this channel, join us by subscribing and press the bell icon to never miss a video from us. Without further ado, let's start. There is a battery that can last for up to 20,000 years. You heard me right, 28,000 years. What type of battery can endure for such a long time? Well, Musk has the one which actually can. Elon Musk recently said that the manufacturer of the Model Y car can't be ramped up. Elon noted that a significant factor in that sluggish start was the introduction of Tesla's new 4680 cell and structural battery pack architecture. So we began to wonder if there might be a more efficient way to create batteries. There must be a new invention in the works that will replace conventional with a superior alternative. Actually, there is. So let's start with understanding what the battery is about. Starting from the very basic, the creation that keeps most of modern society running. Without them, many of the technologies you use regularly won't function. These include the electric car in your garage, as well as your phone, laptop, and tablet. We're talking about the batteries. Batteries are also used by some satellites in orbit. These batteries do have some restrictions though, which limit how much output we can get from them. This is why researchers have been putting a lot of effort into developing a new battery. The most recent development is a diamond battery that might survive for thousands of years while simultaneously assisting in the elimination of nuclear waste. The concept behind this, however, is actually quite clever. It basically involves recycling nuclear waste to create usable energy storage, which is fantastic because even though nuclear power is a very good source of carbon-free energy, it does produce a radioactive byproduct that's practically impossible to dispose of safely. This is the best battery with a capacity for a variety of applications. Due to their many advantages, some batteries have largely replaced lead-acid batteries, especially in demanding applications. However, lithium-ion batteries continue to have their drawbacks, which prevent major advancements. NDB Inc., a green energy business based in Pleasanton has completed two proof-of-concept tests for its nano-diamond battery, marking a significant milestone. The Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory reportedly assessed the proof-of-concept device and found a 40% charge gain in efficiency. The regenerated carbon graphite from nuclear waste is used to create the diamond. As a result of nuclear energy production, the carbon gets transformed into a radioactive diamond. Theoretically, this leads to the development of a small power generator. In one of these tests, which was conducted at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, NDB's battery technology was able to manage a 40% charge, which is a significant improvement over the standard commercial diamond's 15% charge collection efficiency. The innovation of NDB is the development of a novel, exclusive nano-diamond treatment that enables more effective electric charge extraction from the diamond utilized in the battery. They hope to eventually commercialize a battery made from synthetic diamond encased carbon 14 nuclear waste that has a maximum self-charge lifespan of 20,000 years. This battery doesn't generate any carbon emissions in operation and only requires access to open air to work. Although they are technically batteries because they have a charge that will ultimately run out, they effectively function as a charge-free solution because they maintain their own charge for a far longer period of time than any one device or user. NDB wants to make its batteries a practical source of power for virtually everything that consumes it including airplanes, electric vehicles, trains, and even small industrial sensors. A prototype of the company's first commercial battery is now being developed, with plans to release it later this year. The substance must be managed to emit its charge before it being closed for security. To conduct electricity, when the voltage is applied, it must be constructed using standard anode and cathode materials. Additionally, a semiconductor is used to capture charges that the diamond emits. The theory behind this is that the diamond will continue to produce electrons until it's depleted. Since it can theoretically take a very long time to exhaust, it offers users a non-rechargeable energy source. In fact, the battery they described in 2020 does not yet exist. Hence, the corporation has not yet invented the device. After they raise the money, they will develop it using their own proof of concept. They want to create a green battery that can be used in electric vehicles and other electronic gadgets that's universally self-charging for life. 
Although it may be disruptive, it is best to dig into this further. The strength of lithium-ion batteries in cells is not as high as that of certain other rechargeable technologies. It also happened when nuclear diamond batteries finally hit the market and were discharged too far. Therefore, you need protection against being overcharged. In addition, they must keep the current within acceptable bounds. But lithium ions have much more drawbacks than NDBs. Furthermore, the grounding of the Boeing 787 fleet after onboard battery fires were revealed due to the risks associated with these batteries is one example of how lithium ions, despite their technological potential, nevertheless have several safety issues that have caused considerable problems. Lithium ion batteries need safety mechanisms to limit voltage and internal pressures, which can increase weight and limit performance. Several shipping companies even refuse to perform bulk shipments of batteries by plane. Additionally, it makes disposal and upkeeps more challenging. The battery's aging problem is another significant drawback of using lithium ion batteries for consumer products. This depends on time or the calendar, but it also depends on how many charge discharge cycles the battery has gone through. Most often, Batteries can only tolerate 500 to 1,000 charge discharge cycles before their capacity starts to deteriorate. This number is rising as Li-ion technology advances, but if the batteries are built into the machinery, they may need to be changed at some point. Yuri Gagatsi, a Ukrainian expert in the field of materials, explains, scientists implant nuclear waste inside the diamond cells, creating a natural structural weakness that, statistically speaking, will eventually fail in some of the cells over time. For one thing, scientists must combine the cells in enormous numbers to regularly power large devices, which will raise the cost significantly and increase the complexity. If you buy a battery and use it for a lifetime or even many, many years later, the economic benefit, of course, belongs to the consumer if you buy it once and use it forever. The average person rides a car for about 50 years, and every 10 years, the battery needs to be changed. The price of a replacement is $20,000 while the amount you have to spend is $80,000 for a car's lifetime. And as Elon said, nano-diamond batteries boost 5,600% power. Evidently, it can provide renewable energy to devices forever. Let's now look at the materials for creating these nano-diamond batteries. Nano-diamond panels made of very thin layers are used by NDBs. Due to their excellent heat conductivity, diamonds are perfect for use in electronic equipment. A single crystal diamond that is only a few square millimeters in size moves heat away from the radioactively decaying isotope so quickly that the process actually generates energy once NDB obtains the nano diamonds. The Cabot Institute's researchers tested a prototype diamond battery using nickel-63 as a radioactive source. To create a nuclear-powered battery, the radioactive source is enclosed inside a diamond. Although the researchers had envisioned employing radioactive carbon-14 to create a battery with higher efficiency for its first commercial product, if the NDB plant smartwatch were to materialize as planned in 2023, you could own one watch with a single battery and pass it down for generations without ever having a replacement. A watch that has been passed down through many generations and has not run out of battery is absolutely an amazing example of an heirloom. When the nano-diamond battery will be made widely available in the future, there's a chance that some of the cells will break or simply be wasted with the devices that they power. Apart from the collateral damages, the battery really has the potential to revolutionize the electric industry. Because of this technology's extraordinary longevity and efficiency, compared to other batteries currently in use, researchers think it'll improve the electric vehicle sector. The use of NDP's product, according to the company, would benefit consumers by giving them power-independent devices and increasing personal quantum computing. The use of NDB for powering standard electronic devices, such as laptops and smartphones, eliminates the need to charge such devices constantly. The demand for reliable and affordable batteries is rising quickly. Because of their increased longevity and wide range of uses, nano-diamond batteries outperform traditional batteries in several areas, including global warming and waste accumulation. And here we come to the end. Express your thoughts about this new invention in the comments below. To appreciate our efforts, like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in another exciting video.